Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now the Del Fox 7 Star Raid has come out and we found the best Pokemon to solo it now that it's out. Its main moves will be Dazzling Gleam, Psychic, Fire Blast and Will-O-Wisp. And then its two extra moves will be Nasty Plot and Magic Room. So it can be quite the annoying Pokemon if you're a physical attacker and have no way of cutting out that Will-O-Wisp. And you can't really do the whole Focus Sash thing if you're a Steel type and can get one shotted because it Dazzling Gleams on turn zero. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing Showing you the best way to solo it so you can get it yourself without any help if you don't have access to help that you can rely on. So the free solo Pokemon we went over in our video was Arceus, Heatran and Cerulege. Now Heatran is by far the best Pokemon defensively for this raid with it resisting everything from the get-go and after we terrestrialize it resists everything as well. It's very Billy flash fire but it's not really going to do the job solo unfortunately because it puts up its shield quite early and then around half or a little bit over way through the shield it will remove negative effects from itself it will use magic room to erase our actual shell bell its ability doesn't actually work by the way in these raids magician has no effect so our shell bell's fine but when magic room comes up we don't have it for five turns and around the same time it could use nasty plot increasing its special attack by two stages and that's quite troublesome and we've got no moves that actually boost our attack we can only reduce their special defense and we can't do that while the shield's up so that's going to be a lot of trouble Arceus can get the job done but it's a bit like 50 50 depending on how the raid goes like three out of the five times that i've done the raid with Arceus, i've done it one of the times it came really close and the other time i just got really unlucky with special defense drops so we're not going to be using these two which are quite hard to get so it's probably luckily that we can't use these two because cerulege is a lot easier to get because it's on scarlet and violet well it's only on one of the versions but you can trade for it in the discord server the link will be in the description in case you missed the last video we're just going to go over the build real quick so it's going to be a shell bell of steel type terror evs in hp and attack you want that adamant nature to up that attack and reduce that special attack you want the ability flash fire this is vital for the build when we terrestrialize into a steel type fire blast won't be able to hit us because of flash fire we use Bitter Blade to stay alive, Cell Stance to power up, Iron Head to actually do the damage when we don't need health from Bitter Blade. And when it uses Nasty Plot, we're going to insta-clay smog or we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Now, enough of that said, let's get into the actual raid. So the game crashed when we was nearly over with the raid to just before the event. So now we don't even have a Delphox and we lost all our items from that. So I guess we got to do it again. Let's start up the raid. It's going to be the seven star fairy type Delphox. Let's get straight into it. So turn zero, we're going to get hit with the Dazzling Gleam. Very effective against us though, because we're part fire type. And we're just going to get straight in with the bit of blades. We can out heal any dim damage we take as long as the Delphox doesn't get a special defense drop. So we get all our health back and then a little bit more from the Shell Bell. Now you're going to want to get these Bitter Blades out of the way as soon as you can, three of them, because the shield goes up quite early and when it does, the actual Delphox will take away your Terra Charge shortly after. And we're better off being a Steel type as soon as possible because then we resist the Psychic as well as all the other moves. So the shield goes up. After your third Bitter Blade, the shield will go up and then we're going to Terrestrialize and use Swords Dance. Now that we are a Terrestrialized Steel type, Psychic will be not very effective, Dazzling Gleam will be not very effective, and Fire type moves don't affect us because of our ability, and we'll take a lot less damage. So we're going to use Swords Dance, raise that attack to plus two, they will steal our Terra Charge. He will use Will Wisp, but that doesn't actually affect us. We're going to use Swords Dance again. Now if he gets a Psychic Special Defense drop on you quite early, don't worry, you can still do the raid. You're just going to have to be a bit more careful and use a bit of Blade a bit more often. It's all about finding that perfect balance between bit of blade healing yourself using iron head to do the damage using clear smog as soon as he uses nasty plot and uses entire stance to actually up your damage so now that we are on max attack we're going to use bit of blade to get all our health back Hopefully it gets all our health back anyway. So we do get all our health back and then we can start to use Iron Head. Could have used Iron Head anyway because of the Shell Bell, but I just wanted to use Bit of Blade to guarantee getting back to that max health. We've done quite good so far. We didn't get the 10% uh, special defense drop on ourselves. 
So we use Iron Head again, and that's nearly took out the full shield. Sometimes it will take out the full shield. And then Del Fox, when, you're, when you've nearly brought the shield, Del Fox will use Magic Room and nullify your stats. So now our item just does not work. And then it will use Nasty Plot, increasing its own special attack by two stages. And then it will hit you with an attack that will do a lot more damage because it's on plus two special attack. And that's when we're just going to use Clear Smog and get rid of it. And then we're going to use Sword Stance to power up our attack again because we got nullified. And then we're going to use Sword Stance again Again, now we're on plus four attack. They try to use Will-O-Wisp on us, but it does not work for our ability. And now we can start to use Iron Head. Use Bit of Blade if you're low on health, but Iron Head is going to do the most damage here. So we get hit with a Psychic, and it is a special defense drop. So just in case of the actual crit, I'm going to use Bit of Blade. We don't want to go down right now. That will get us back to full health. Now, I found this Pokemon is the safest way to do this raid. You're in no danger at any point as long as you play your cards right. We get special defense dropped again, but we can use Bitter Blade for the rest of the fight now. We are in no danger of losing or anything like that, even with two special defense dropped. And then you can just finish the raid off finally with a Bitter Blade or an Iron Head. As you can see, the Delphox goes down. We were never really in any trouble. We didn't even go down once. And like I said, with Arceus, you are at risk of going down quite a few times after the Nasty Plot because you've got no way of getting rid of it. And also, you can be burnt, so you take a lot of chip damage. And with the Heatran, it just doesn't do enough damage when the actual shield is up. After the Delphox removes negative effect from itself. Oh, I meant to catch that. Whoops. Guess I'm going to have to do it again. But yeah, you get some good items. Look at all that XP. You get TM141, which is going to be the TM Fire Blast. We don't actually get the Fairy type tm this time which is kind of strange we do get a lot of terra shards that are fairy type we get calciums ability patched a lot now hopefully this video has helped you make sure to subscribe to that notification bell on so you don't miss another video i will be doing a build on this del fox so you can use it in raids soon smash that like button if you've enjoyed the video and i'm going to put a playlist on screen right now it's going to be all the actual raid builds that we've done on the channel so far keep an eye out on the new build and i'll catch you on the next one